What's up, everyone? I am Ryan. I am Adam. And we are the Boston Brothers V2. And we are back with another video. We are back with TNA Slammiversary 2013 with the Boston Brothers V2. And it is June 2nd, 2013, about 5.51 right now. And uh, Slammiversary 2013 today, we're going to be going to that at the Aganis Arena on uh, the campus of Boston University. So, uh, Adam, what are you looking forward to from Slammiversary tonight? Well, uh, getting into TNA, neither of us have, like, really seen TNA in, like, so long. I mean, I watched uh, Impact last week, which was a go-home show. I watched most of that. But uh, besides that, I haven't seen, like, any TNA for, like, over a year, probably. Yeah, I'm, like, not... It's like saying that just to like try to sound cool. Like I don't watch TNA. Yeah. Uh, I just I just don't watch it. Uh, I'll probably start watching it again. Hopefully, if uh, this is a good show, I'll start watching Impact again. But I just haven't watched it in a while. And we haven't even seen TNA live since like 2008, right? Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah, host show. But uh, for this card, Slammiversary tonight, I see uh, Kurt Angle and AJ Styles. That's probably the match I'm most looking forward to. It's those two, you always know it's going to be a great match whenever they're in the ring together. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also looking forward to that one as well. And uh, the Ultimate X match I think will be good too. Can't go wrong with those. Yeah. But um, it's just like the probably their second biggest show, so I think it will have a good time. I think it will be good. So uh, we're going to be heading to... Uh, we're gonna park like by the Aganis and then in like walking distance from there is uh, a Kudoba. So we're gonna hit up Kudoba, get some burritos as we always do, yeah. food and then wrestling. That's the combo right there. Uh, they had like the Slammiversary like weekend with like the Fan Fest yesterday. We didn't go to that. I actually went to uh, the Summer Jam event that uh, they have in Boston with the rap concert. I went to that. And I actually made my own fan fest there. They had uh, they had Christopher Daniels and Kaz there. Bad influence, they were there. But nobody really gave a damn about them. Everyone just walked past, had no clue who they were. So uh, I just saw them. I didn't go up to them or anything. And that was the only fan fest thing that we got. I don't know if they have, like, they're going to be able to meet people today or what. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, when we get there. I'd say no. But yeah, it might be different. It's like a pay per view. Yeah, forget meeting Hulk Hogan because we're gonna be meeting Armin today. Yeah, as uh, uh, Armin's going, uh, Armin ten seven zero one is his username. So we're gonna meet up with him there hopefully. And yeah, we're about to take off. Let's go, TNS anniversary. So we just parked at the parking lot, and now we're uh, on the campus of Boston University. It's nice out here. I love this school. But uh, yeah. So it's actually not. A Doba, it is actually a Chipotle. I knew that. He didn't. I ain't mad though. I like Chipotle. I think it's like my it's number like two. It's like the block. It's a Doba. So you are half right, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, Chipotle, my number two. Number one, we get to go with Anna's Taqueria. Yeah. The Kofi Kingston spot. I love that place. But Chipotle, number two. So that's where we're going to go right now. There's like already a long line out there. I was surprised how many people there were, like, now at this time. Yeah, and like, as All we these were. TNA, Boston TNA fans. Yeah, lockdown, 2008. But like, as we were like going down like the street to get here, it says like lots full. Like, every lot was full. So, I don't know. I'm expecting a big crowd here. The Aganis is a pretty decent sized place. Yeah. We haven't been to the Aganis since like uh, Halloween time, right? Yeah, we saw Smashing Pumpkins there. Yeah, was that actually on Halloween? Um, I think it was like a couple days before. Might have been the day before. Yeah, because uh, I just remember there was some dude like dressed as Peter Pan next to me. It was weird. And then uh, we were just like walking around up here. Like, this is Calm Ave up here. Like, this is where Aerosmith, like, where they used to live in an apartment complex up here on Calm Ave. So, uh, yeah. So, we're gonna uh, go find Chipotle and we're gonna eat some burritos. Burritos. Alright, so we're out here further down Calm Ave right now. Over here, we got Chipotle across the street. And then, uh, I think I want a BWO show. BWO! And up there we got Boston, we got the Prudential. BU Terriers. College of General Studies. Boston University. Big man on campus right there. And the Sting show. Classic. Yeah. And uh, please excuse my voice. I have allergies pretty bad right now. It's pretty hot out here too right now. It's like 85, I think. All right, I'm ready for a burrito now. Let's go. Here it is in all its burrito goodness. Burritos. Steak burritos we both got. Posted up out here. Mad 
wrestling fans around here right now. All for the food. I eat way too many burritos. Here it is, the Aganis Arena. I think they already let everybody in, so that's a good thing. I want to walk right in there. So like I thought Brooke was gonna like bump in the match. She did, but like honestly I thought she was gonna affect the main event, which she really did. So uh, I would say Angle AJ was the best match, and I would say the opening match was second best match, which the Brothers V2 might disagree. Um, six man tag was all right. Um, Gail and Taryn Terrell was actually better than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, I, like, I'm happy I actually stayed for that. They got like two and, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Know you're wrestling. Um, what else was in there? We're so We're so I'm far. glad Abyss came back. I'm a lot, like, I met, I met uh, Joseph Parks yesterday, and like, when I saw him, I went like this. And uh, Joseph Parks was like, oh, that's awesome. Like, when I like, trying to sign my shit. So I kind of knew like, Abyss is coming back. Um, what else? What else was in there? Tag match. That was it, right? Oh, yeah. Bullway tag team. That was way too rushed. That was way too rushed. For James Storm and Gunner to win tag titles was really bad. Really bad. But, um, I'm not going to complain. Overall, I live up the street. I told the brothers V2 I live right there. Yeah, right up there. So I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to get mad, like, uh, I'm gonna get to the T's pub right like here. Yeah, yeah, T's pub. Like, I literally five minute walk. I'm not getting mad, but um, overall, if I didn't live up there, I would say it was uh, <laughs> uh, six point five out of ten. But since I live up there, it was eight point five out of ten. Bring it up. Eight point five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. So make sure you check them out. What are the numbers? Like Armin ten seven zero one. Ten seven zero one. Yeah. So uh, the Boston Brothers V two. Yeah. Check them out. Go. Yeah. Make sure you go check out Armin. Looky, looky, who we have here. We have to include this guy in this. Brian Harnois, the Ghost Hunter. And look at what you got here. You got. The biggest, baddest ghost on the planet, Macho Man Randy Savage. And let me tell you, I am the Tower of Power. Too sweet to be sour, funky like a monkey, ooh, yeah, every minute and every hour. And I came here to see TNA Slammiversary for one thing and one thing only. And that is to call out that coward, Hulk Hogan. So what you gonna do, brother, when I come back from the dead and drop the elbow on you? I'll tell you what you're gonna do. You will feel the madness. Ooh, yeah, dig it. So we saw that uh, Macho Man Randy Savage impersonator going down the street as we were just leaving Armin. And of course, we had to ask him to do a promo. It's like a new thing for our channel. Yeah. Macho Man promos and waterfalls. That's yeah, what you come to our channel for. It's like you don't get waterfalls anymore. Now instead, you're gonna get like Macho Man impersonators. It's one at every show. This one was actually like a lot better. Not like costume-wise, but promo-wise. Yeah, he had that promo down. Pretty that much. was a pretty damn good promo. 
It was like the perfect thing. Like he mentioned Slammiversary and everything. Yeah, it was so good that he even gave me his business card and he was like, send this to me. I'm going to post it on Impact's wrestling's wall. <laughs> He's going to post it on his wall. It's, it was a good promo. I'm glad we got it. That guy, it. like the whole night, he was like going around. You could probably hear it on the pay-per-view. Like people were chanting for Macho Man. Like yeah. that, that was him. That was the guy. Yeah, so Hulk even uh, like mentioned him like, during the show. Yeah. Yeah, he said something good. This is like the parking lot over here. I don't know, we're just gonna hang out here for a little and then probably leave. But uh, you still wanna talk about the pay-per-view a little? Yeah. We touched on it with Armin, but uh, we can talk a little more about it. What do you, wanna, what you think about it? Uh, for me, it was pretty much what I thought it was gonna be. I knew it wasn't gonna be like great, so I didn't really have that many that high expectations, but it didn't really let me down, no. I'll say that. Like, uh, I thought Angle's styles would have been a little bit better than it was, but it was still like match of the night. Like, you can't go wrong with them. Yeah. It's just uh, a decent show, I guess. Like, the Ultimate X match was good. I thought it was going to be, like, amazing. But what I liked about it is how they didn't go for the act. They didn't go for the belt, like, 200 times. Like, yeah. I feel like they usually do. Like, they waited. They, like, built to it. And then towards the end, they really went for it. So I like that about it. There were, like, a, a lot of title changes on the show, too. Yeah. Saban won the belt. Uh, Abyss won the TV title. Uh, the new... Tag champs, uh, James Storm and Gunner, which is weird to me. I was surprised by that. Yeah, and you got the new Hall of Fame inductee, Kurt Angle. Yeah, it was a good moment. Yeah, probably like my second favorite of all time, so it was awesome to see that announcement live. I personally thought like Jeff Jarrett should have been the man. Yeah, I think everybody did. Yeah, because he deserves it the most, but Angle, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah, I like it. So, um... The Taron Terrell match. That was I missed that one, and surprisingly I'm surprisingly great, disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I went to grab a water. I feel like two holy shit chants during the match. Yeah. Like, this is awesome during a fucking girls match. It's crazy. Yeah. And uh, the main event, like I was saying to Armin, I was like, I'll put that as my number two match of the night, second to AJ and Angle, of course. Match? No, the um, main event. I know. Uh, a lot of people would probably put that knockouts match up there, like the best. Would you? Nah. Uh, nah. Yeah, so it's a lot of big spots. That's why I was surprising. Like, women doing, like, these crazy spots. Yeah. Like, a lot of people are mocking out my section for it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Slammiversary. <laughs> it was a uh, good time. Glad we came out. It was only, like, like 40 bucks or something. Yeah, it was cheap. Yeah, not a bad seat in the house. Like Armin said, he lives right there, so we bumped up the rating. Yeah. I'm just going to bump up the rating for no reason. He's a man. <laughs> We're going to go this way and go there. a big question, though. Will you watch Impact Wrestling on Thursday nights? I'm actually going to say I probably will check it out more. I'm not saying I'm going to sit down and watch the whole show. Or every week. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of, the only way I like follow it now is when I hear about it on The Observer. So that's the only way I had a clue of what was going on. Yeah. But, same uh, with me, like, but I hit your Twitter yeah. at the same time. I just don't really like Ace and Eights. Like, I hate how TNA always has to have one angle and have that one angle revolve around the whole show. Yeah. I hate when... It's always like a faction, too, like Man of the Mafia, Immortal, Ace yeah. and Eights is always a faction. Like a heel faction, too. It's not like Face either. The group is so big, too. Yeah. It's not even needed. Like, they just added, like, Wes Briscoe and Garrett Bischoff. Like, why are they even in the group? That's why it's soft. Taz. Yeah, it's like not group. necessary. D'Lo Brown was in it. I don't think he is anymore, but that wasn't needed at all, either. So, um, yeah. From the Aganis Arena right here. Boston Brothers V2. I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. Peace.